So today I'm going to show you how to put custom clothing into your 5M server. In the description below, I have linked my GitHub repository to a EUP setup folder. What you can do is you can download this and you can drag and drop it into your resources just as it is. You click this, click this again, and then you drag this EUP folder into your resources. I've already done that, so I'm going to show you exactly how I have it. This is just an example resources folder that you would drop this into your 5M resources folder. You click on this. I actually have it sectioned off into male and female, so you can separate all your clothing. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the male folder. I put in the FX Manifest Lua for each folder as well. There's a stream folder here. And then here you can see all of the different categories for the clothing I have sectioned off for you. There's jacket, which is also, you know, just torso, pants, there's shirts, masks. This is just some of the prefixes that it shows on some of the clothing items that you'll download sometimes. So that's why I've added these in there, just in case you can't understand which one you're replacing. Um, for this example, let's see, we'll be getting this. And I'll show you how to put it in, whether it is 5M ready or if it's not 5M ready. So what you're going to do, let me close these really quick. You're going to download one of these or whatever item that you want to put into your server from here. And click download. And you want to open this. Open this folder. Open this again. If they are 5M ready, they will come into something looking like this. If that's the case, you can go to your EUP folder. In this case, it's a male item. It would go to hair. I delete these just for the demonstration purpose. You would then take these since they are 5M ready and then you just drag and drop them into the hair folder. And then you can restart your server and open up your clothing and you will see them in the hair section. If they are not 5M ready, I'll show you how to do this as well. So if they're not 5M ready, they'll sometimes look like this. You still drag and drop them into here. What you'll want to do to get these 5M ready is go to the link below in the description. It is toby.space. This is the GTA 5 asset gallery. Since this is a mail item, we would click mail. And you want to highlight MP underscore M underscore free mode 01. Copy this, go back to your EUP folder, not this one. Go back to this one where you put the hair in or whatever other item that you have that you're putting in and it's not 5M ready. You want to rename it, go to the front of it, paste that MP underscore M underscore free mode 01. And at the very end of that, when you paste it, you want to just put an up arrow. You want to do this for each item like this. In this case, we'll do it for all of these, and then put the up arrow after each one. And go to the beginning again, do the same thing, put the up arrow, and then the last one, and put that in there, and once again, put the up arrow. This will make it 5M ready. Then you will be able to stream this hair, in this case, to your 5M server. Same thing goes for all the other assets that you would put beards decals shoes hair bags etc jackets you know everything else all this works the same this folder is entirely set up already for you to use just like this this makes it a lot easier and organizes it and then in your server cfg what you're going to want to do you just want to ensure the eup like this. You want to put this somewhere in your server CFG and you want to restart your server. Once you've loaded into your server, you can go to the clothing shop or if you're the admin you can open up the clothing menu and then you will see all of the custom clothing that you have put in. Anything new that you put in that you replaced will be put into here and then that's how you add custom clothing into your 5M server. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
comment down below if you have any questions or need any support. You can join the Discord in the link uh, in the description. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.